to be here in the deli and to really look at what the backbone of all the community is. And in the, in the military, we always say the backbone of the Army is the NCO Corps. And it's the same thing in our community. You're the backbone here because it's the mom and pop's businesses that really make us thrive in our community. They're the ones that are dealing with people day in and day out. And it's nice to get a big business to come in with a ton of jobs. But without a place like this and a specialty uh, deli to come get some, a great sandwich uh, and meet some great people is, is a great opportunity. And, and especially in, uh, and I'll let Sean talk a little bit more about Green Island, but to really to talk about Green Island as a community, it's a family affair here. And literally, and, I, and I, that's what I love about Green Island. It's a, it's a hidden gem in Albany County that really just shows you how a community wraps around uh, a business. And the fact is, it, it's hard. You know, coming out of this recession for businesses, they always say in a restaurant, it takes five years to really establish to get going. And it's hard because nothing goes down. Insurance goes up, workers' comp goes up. And there's a lot of hurdles that get thrown in front of businesses. In, in this case, working with the uh, Albany County Legislature and with Chairman Sean Ward and walk, working with the, the Capital District Chamber, uh, we had a unique opportunity uh, to apply for a grant to really go for a grant that can help businesses. And that's what this grant was about. And I want to say again congratulations to Kate. Obviously things are, are going well um, and we're happy as the Chamber to be a, a small part of this and to be a resource. And this, you know, it's kind of the idea of a, you know, a Chamber of Commerce is bringing resources together and, and bringing uh, community leaders together to help business owners. So uh, I think this is a great example of that. Well, I'm, I'm proud to be here today, number one, because the Micro Enterprise Program is a great program, and I've always been a proponent. I'm in the economic development. I do a little economic development here in Green Island, and we have, uh, we, we, we put a huge industrial park in the north end. We create a thousand jobs, but we still need the crux of the community is small business, and we didn't have a place to get a sandwich in Green Island before Kate came to me a few years ago and, and asked me what I thought of her plan. And obviously we jumped all over it. We thought it was a great idea and a great need for the community. And second of all, I'm very proud of Kate. We really are fortunate with with the, um, the micro entrepreneurial um, grant because, you know, it, we're in food. It does normally take about five years. And what this does is um, it you know, it fast forwards us a little bit. You know, we knew what we had to do, but you know, the, the numbers are hard. We have, we are in a small town, but um, we are who we are because we're in this small town. Um, anyone can walk in at any time. We're not just a deli. Yes, our food is amazing, but we are people's ears. We are their shoulder. Like we really are. You know, some their only family, and um, and they treat us the same way. You know, I got married last year. My niece had a baby last year, and um, our customers. You know, we had presents and stuff and off our registry at our home. So it's we're not just a deli. So um, we love what we do. I mean, we're in four years, and we can't imagine doing anything else. Thank you guys for all your hard work and support, and can't ask for anything more.